Now that you know what you want to do, let's talk about how you're going to do it. Welcome back to our series on how to write the perfect SBA. My name is Mr. Matt and today we're going to be talking about how to write the method of data collection. Now the method of data collection is worth two marks and in those two marks you'll get it if your data collection method is clearly described, appropriate and without flaws. Let's break down what that means. So it should be clearly described. It should be, you know, detailed enough for us to understand exactly what you're going to do to get this information. It should be appropriate. So that means that you're using the right method to get your data. For example, if you're observing the growth of some plants over time, then you wouldn't be handing out questionnaires to get your data. That don't make any sense. So that's what we mean when we talk about appropriate. And then you're going to make sure that it's without flaws. You're going to tell us how you will make sure that you're going to get accurate data. Now, there are different ways to collect data. One of the most popular ways is by using questionnaires. So let's say you were handing out questionnaires trying to find out what is the most popular sport in your school, for argument's sake, right? Then you would describe how you get the information. So you could say we're going to hand out questionnaires to 30 people. You'd also have to describe how you'll make sure that data is unbiased. If you're trying to find the favorite sport of people in the school, you wouldn't go to the football club and give all of them the questionnaires. That's biased data. So instead, you'd probably say something like, we're going to choose five random people from each grade to figure this out. You know, something that convinces us that this data is not flawed. One of the things that we have to make sure when we are writing questionnaires is that you don't want your questions to be a duplicate. So in that same type of SBA, you wouldn't have one question on the survey saying, what is your favorite sport? And then another question saying, which sport do you like the most? Two of them are the same thing. But that's a common mistake that I usually see. So make sure that your questions are related to the objectives of your uh, SBA. Another way that you can collect data is by doing observations. For example, like we mentioned earlier, you could probably state how you're going to observe uh, the growth of some plants over time. You could tell us how you're going to ensure that nothing is going to affect your data negatively in terms of what you're, you're, you're trying to figure out. Another way that we can write our method of data collection is by doing a detailed description particularly if we are doing a practical SBA, like how much paint we'll need to paint a house or like the height of a building or how much material we'll need to do some type of design or, you know, something like that. So if you're doing that SBA, you want to make sure that you list out the steps of what you're going to do and exactly how you're going to do it to prevent any errors or again, any flawed data. And these are just some of the many methods of data collection. So teachers and students, let me know in the comments any other methods that you can think of. But for now, enough talking. Let's go mark some SBAs together. Now let's start with this one. Um, this was the methods for, I think this SBA was to find out the most popular drink at school. And here they list for their methods focus groups and observations, and questionnaires. Now, the methods are stated, but it's not clearly described. We don't know how they're going to do the questionnaires. We don't see any questionnaire here. So I would give this one mark because you get one mark if your method is only stated. Let's look at another one. Now in this SBA, it says the section of the research encapsulate, oh, this was that wordy one, the one about, uh, the, the, the how music affects adolescence. So, you know, they say they're going to capture the information. The questionnaires used are formulated to make the investigation process easier due to consisting of a series of open and closed ended questions structured to be applicable to varied audiences. Why didn't people are bright? Additionally, in the process of finding out how music impacts adolescent behavior, 
they will undertake a sample size of approximately 20 persons and they're going to consist of four persons each consist of four persons each person will be responsible to retrieve the data i think i would like to see here how they're going to prevent any bias in collecting the data that's that's kind of what i'm looking for again so in an sba like this you could probably put something like we're going to make sure uh you know we have students from different backgrounds and you could probably dive a little bit into how you're going to do that but i won't kill them for it and then they go on to list their data collection instrument that's just basically the questions in the questionnaire um and yeah that's that's where you'd put it so i think i'm really inclined to give this one one and a half because i'm really looking out for that thing where they tell us how it's not biased you know so um yeah one and a half one and a half mark that's my pick now if you check out the rest of videos in this series you're gonna see how you can create your sba from introduction all the way to conclusion new videos are coming soon so subscribe hit that notification bell so that you can learn more i'll see you in the next one about our presentation big up